Welcome everybody out to the late night face check. My name is Valkamer. We are here with Creepers bots of ABBA Murky Cult. They are currently in second place for Division B West, and they are a, a newer team from what I can see as far as the name on the roster, but they've taken B West by storm so far. Creepers bot, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So now tell me a little bit of the history of the team. Obviously, I only have a, a very narrow bit of knowledge so far. Okay, uh, yeah, so uh, Adam Murky Call is actually a very new team. We only, this is our first NGS season, and we previously only played one season in Heroes Lounge. Um, the team is mostly composed of, uh, at first it was composed of a bunch of friends, and then we've uh, started branching out and finding new members on our team. So now we have a very tightening the six people crew and we this is how we've been rolling since nice nice now b west um i'm i'm in c west so fairly competitive for you but you've you've had a pretty good run i think it was 27 points that you guys gathered in the the regular yeah season. give or take around that area yeah so Anybody as as you've come in that perhaps they were a rival in Heroes Lounge or you just have said, you know, this is, is the match that we've been waiting for as you've played out the season? Uh, it's funny enough, the only one team I was actually excited about ended up withdrawing from the season. Oh. So that, that oh. was a bit disappointing because that, cause that was the only team we actually lost to in Heroes Lounge. So we wanted to get that run back, uh, but they just withdrew. So we never had that chance, unfortunately. Yikes. And uh, let's see. I've got it here on my screen. So that would have been Zombie Eradication Squad. That is correct, yeah. Those dirty, rotten scoundrels. <laughs> <in> the <season. laughs> they got away this time. <laughs> so, well, as as you're coming into the playoffs, has the team done anything special to, to gear up for this playoff run? Uh, actually, no, we haven't done anything. I haven't played in a while. A lot of our teamers haven't been playing at all. This is just the time for us, you know, relax, chill down, have some fun on the 4th of July celebration. And then once that's over, we can get back into the grinding. Nice, nice. And do you, I assume you've already got your game set up for the coming week? Uh, no, we're still waiting on our opponents. They're playing tomorrow. So we'll, we'll have to schedule oh, that. Oh, got it. Um, so... You're waiting for the the one game that got the exception in B West. And that is correct. Yeah. So, well, I I can't say that I know every team, but I know one of them is Arrogant Nephilim in that match, who are the previous champions of Division C last season. So, I I know they're a pretty strong team, and and that will be a a fantastic match. Should you play them, let's see. The opponents then would be Avalanche. I don't know Avalanche. I'm sorry, Avalanche. <laughs> so. uh, for, yeah, from what I recall, both of these are very strong. Um, even though Avalanche, I think we won 2-0, the, the games were really close for sure, and it could have gone either way. Erga and Nephilim, the games were also close. We did lose 2-1, but that was at the very, very beginning of the season. That was our first matchup, actually. So I think uh, in the two months period, we have gone better, and I think we could put up a really good fight next if we were to play them next round. Nice. Now, looking back at the game you just played, uh, let's see. It looks like that would have been Phoenix Rising Onyx that you faced. That is correct, yeah. And how did that match go? Um, it, oh, is the highlight you gave me from that match? No, th that was actually from the uh, regular season match. Oh, the okay. One to you. Uh, the playoff match, you know, it was it was a, a, a very heated one since we actually lost to them in the regular season. So we really wanted that, you know, we wanted to, you know, Tell them that hey, we're actually gone better now. We can beat you this time, and what, that's what we did. Nice, nice. Well, we we wish you well on that. Uh, to to transition into the clip, it is a fantastic clip. Yeah, and, it's it's, a, it's pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, when the first time I watched that, I just went, oh wow. So we're gonna flip over to that really quick. Show the viewers what we've been teasing here for the last thirty to sixty seconds, but. Just a great clip here. Down at so near we're, 500 we're hit in the boss the pit are gonna section 3v5. Off the boss point and, and you guys really make this create a little bit spicy. Abathur clone has to be in here very soon here. Probably on the Li Ming, which could be team white tacular here in just a second. Oh my god, Kalei. <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> it's team white tacular. 
And so they, the the combination of the sleep dart hitting where it needed to, and Ming just being ready with that calamity, and all of a sudden four members of Phoenix Rising Onyx just fall over dead from the Li Ming teleport calamity, and it it happens quick enough that for me as the viewer I. I wasn't ready for it. And then all of a sudden, oh, four of them are down. So <laughs> how how do you feel that your team sets up a moment like that? Do you think that there was a lot of, of setup or there was mostly set up with a little bit of luck added in to make it that much better? Uh, I think, like, to be honest, that was like our one only highlight of the season. And that was just really spontaneous because we didn't really – expect them to like put up a fight since we know they were all low we thought they were just back off but they were just keep doing boss they're like okay you know we have anna we have ming we have johanna that's all we need to win a 3v5 and that's what we did yeah e even if it wasn't four at once if it had been one with a reset second with a reset ming is just one of the champions to take that from behind fight particularly yeah, it's, it's, in a very, bit of a it's a very impressive hero that's for sure yeah no it was a fantastic clip it was uh something i never want to go against but <laughs> i i think that the call there could have been to regroup reset get full and then charge and see if you can find yourself an anna kill perhaps and yeah but, that would have been i think in my opinion a much better call so but Yowza, that was just great play, and we look forward to some of those coming through in the playoffs. Yeah, can't well, wait. <laughs> well, Creepers Bot, it is time for the lightning round of questions. You will have 60 seconds to see just how many questions you can answer. The record stands at 12. Creepers Bot, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, your time will start as I finish reading the first question. Okay. Hero you would like to take to dinner? Uh, Li Ming. Name three heroes to join you at yoga class. Uh, let's see here. Rhaegar, Thrall, and Garrosh. Favorite caster? Um, uh, Tetcher. Okay. Map you would turn into an area rug for your home? Oh, uh... Altrek Pass. Favorite HOTS resource? Uh, the loot boxes. Okay. Best Heroes Workout Buddy? Mm. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh... Gosh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, pass on that one. Best Hero Aesthetically? Uh, Ragnaros. Okay, favorite map? Uh, Battlefield of Eternity. Most Needed Rework? Probius. Favorite hero? Uh, Rhaegar. BlizzCon map or hero? Uh, map. Name a heroic you want in real life. Uh, oh, Divine time. Field. Time. No. <laughs> All right. Let's see just how many we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten today. That. Mm -hmm. That workout buddy one gotcha. Yeah, but that was a really <laughs> odd, odd question. I just couldn't think of anything. So one of the popular answers is Tychus, because, I mean, the guy oh, carries okay, around yeah. that big old gun. So, and then the Sun's Out, Guns Out event that uh, showcased his strength, we'll say. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's a good answer. <laughs> Karazim is one that I got here in the last little bit that I thought was was a good one because hmm. i mean that guy's disciplined workout extreme yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> now you mentioned for yoga class three very horde members I, I would guess that you're a horde player when it comes to world of warcraft i haven't played world of warcraft okay. actually at all well you said thrall garrosh and i believe rhaegar was rhaegar your... yeah so what would make them your yoga buddies um, I think yoga, in my opinion, is very boring, it's very tedious. So if I brought three people who just like to bicker each other all day, it would make it much more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. That is awesome. 
Okay, well, I, I'm i glad you were here, Creepers Bot. I think it's been a lot of fun. The floor is yours for any shouts or taunts or what have you. Okay, uh, I'll give a shout out to my team first. Uh, every member that includes Hellfire, Majini, uh, Doberman, Akash, and Jawbird. Thank you guys for carrying me throughout the season. Um, thank you to all the casters and the NGS staff for making this league very appreciative and very welcoming. Um, thank you to you, Valkmore, for give, for having me here today. It's a lot of fun, a lot of great times. Uh, any taunts? Um, Caffeinated Knights, you guys are first, but we'll whoop your ass when we play you. <laughs> we'll definitely beat you. There's no way we're losing to you again. We will see when we do our interview if they can match or beat your number, and I'll keep you in the loop. All right, sounds good. Ten's a very respectable number. So, mm -hmm. Well, for my part, I will end with my traditional, hi, mom. As well as, remember to spay and neuter your pets, as well as vote for additional maps in the NGS map pool. Garden of Terror, Hanamura Temple, bring that spice into the Nexus. It'll be awesome. <laughs> this yeah. has been a Nexus Gaming Series production. Again, my name is Valkmer. Have fun out there, and mind the bushes.